Hi guys, so in today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can bypass your MDM. So if you have a device, an iPad or iPhone with iOS version 18.5 or above and you have an MDM lock on there, in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can bypass it. Now if you have an earlier version of iOS, this setup might work for you but it might not work for some of you guys. So for the older versions, I do have dedicated videos that I showed how to bypass the MDM and that is a very, very good process, you know, so I'm going to link those videos in the description below. You guys can watch those videos if you have earlier versions, uh, but you can also try this method, you know, I think uh, I've tried some and it, it works on, on, on some of the older iOS uh, versions on different iPads as well. But the other two videos that I'm going to link in the description below, those definitely work uh, without any, uh, any hiccups. So again, let's get into the video um, on, and this is a completely free process, you know, um, there are some files in the description below I'm going to leave. Uh, so you do have to download those files. They are linked to my Google account so you can download those files. And uh, once you download those files, um, you basically at that point, there's a video that will tell you how to download the files. So download those files. Uh, once you have those files downloaded, then we're going to uh, be using some of those files. So, um, so again, um, I did a kind of like a cheat sheet, you know, uh, on how to do this process. So the very first step again is downloading the files. In the description there's a video, watch that video, download those files. Next we're gonna go to Google and search for Three U Tools. Um, you know, so this is the application that you see on the right in the background, Three U Tools. Um, this is a free, completely free application. You can download it from anywhere. Uh, but if you just open up and just go to Google and type in 3U Tools. They'll, there's a website m.3u.com and uh, from there you can go ahead and download the 3U Tools for Windows or Mac operating system. So again, um, you know, it's a, it's a free, free version how to download that file. Um, Again, this is an educational video, guys. You know, I'm not asking you guys to do this. You know, I'm not asking you guys to bypass the MDM on any devices. This is just for educational purposes only. Um, and uh, just for experimental reasons, I'm doing it. Um, and um, again, um, let's watch it. And hopefully, you know, it uh, gives you guys some, some background on how this is done. So once you download the 3U tools, uh, the very first thing I'm gonna recommend is, you know, um, is make a backup. So if you don't have iTunes, highly recommend download the iTunes. iTunes is a good application, free application from Apple um, that you can use to make backups and, and do all sorts of things with your iPad. So if you have an iPad um, and you know, or an iPhone and you want to make a backup, you know, just uh, click on it and, and make a backup. The very first thing you need to do is backup. Right now I don't see the option to make a backup because mine is a completely white clean uh, iPad so I don't have anything it's just uh, have an MDM lock so um, you know if you have some stuff on there make a backup make a backup make a backup so you don't cry later on that you lost everything uh, in this process most likely you're gonna lose everything um, you know you can try to once you are once you're bypassed you can try to restore to the old backup and see if that works in some cases I've seen those work uh, but I haven't tested on all the iOS's, especially 18.5, the latest version that they have out there. So I can't really guarantee that your backup restoration is gonna work, but if you have a backup, you know, if you save it, at least you have everything backed up. So um, again, you know, once you back everything up, you know, that's the only time you're gonna need the iTunes pretty much. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and close that. I've already made my backup. So, um, now, you know, so imagine we did a step one, a step two was done, we downloaded the 3U tools, installed it. Now, remember, this process only works on Windows computer. This is not going to work on MacBook. 
Uh, if you do have a MacBook only, if you don't have a Windows computer, then I would suggest uh, installing um, Windows on your MacBook. You can partition it. You can there are different ways you can do it. You can download Windows on the uh, install Windows on the on the MacBook, and you can then use this application. So it will work just fine. So um, in this case, I'm using a Windows 11 uh, computer. All right, so once you have installed and um, the, uh, installed the 3U tools, you're gonna go ahead and open 3U tools and go to toolbox and erase all data. So if you go on toolbox, if you click on iDevice, it's gonna show all the information about the iDevice. I'm not gonna sh click on it because it's gonna show all my serial number and everything, so I, I, I don't wanna be in this situation. Uh, but I can maybe censor it, I can show it to you that it is on in fact 18.5 that you can see right here so I'm running 18.5 um, and uh, click on toolbox so once I'm on toolbox I'm going to click on erase all data so my iPad currently is connected to my computer and uh, I'm going to click on erase all data I'm going to click on here and click on erase all data so I have already done it on mine you know so I don't need to do it um, but if you guys want to go ahead and erase all data on yours, I would say go ahead and do that. Um, you know, if you haven't done it, if it's the first time you're doing it, which obviously you are, so I would say erase it. Uh, now, uh, one thing I'm going to tell you is if you haven't updated your iOS, I would recommend go ahead and go to iTunes and update it. You don't do you really have to, you don't really have to. Uh, if you're already running 18.5, that's fine. Uh, after this video, if there's a, another version of 18.5.1, whatever. Uh, if you don't want to upgrade it to that, that's completely up to you. Um, it's not necessary. So, um, and then, uh, my recommendation would be just leave it to whatever version you have. You know, if you don't have 18.5, if you have an earlier version, just leave it to that. You don't get any much benefit, you know. Um, so, all right, let's get back to step number five. So, um, imagine you have done erase all data. So, you know, I already done that on mine. Okay, now it says in 3U tools, click backup and restore, and, and then we're gonna select the backup. So let me show, exactly show you what exactly this means. So uh, if you go on backup and restore, click on this over here, you're gonna go to view all data backups. And once you're over here, you're probably not gonna see any of these. Um, I see this because I've been working on this uh, for a while. So uh, let's go ahead and delete all the backups from here so you guys can see what exactly I have. So you're probably gonna see something like this and click on add backups and remember we downloaded that file uh, in the MDM unlock file from the Google Drive that you guys did. So this is that one folder that you're gonna be using. So from, from this particular folder that you downloaded, there are gonna be two things that you're gonna be needing. This is, this is one of them and the other one is this batch file with this name right here. So again, this file and, and these two. Don't worry about the other DLL files, we're not gonna be using it. Um, so the batch file and this file, but in this particular case, the step that we are in, we're gonna be using this one. So we need to locate this particular file. Now what I do is just to make my life easier, I drag this and make a copy of this particular folder on my desktop and I locate my desktop right here. Um, and I've already done that, I've already made a copy of that. So I know where it's located. Um, so I can just point to that. Let's see, where did it go? I can go right here and there it is. So I already know the location and boom, here it comes. So now I'm gonna click on this particular one and I'm gonna click on restore all data. So now once you click on restore all data, it's gonna start working it's magic to your iPad. So let's go ahead and click on restore all data and uh, let the iPad do its thing. And this is gonna give you this particular one and you just have to click on next and you now it's just verifying files and it's gonna do its thing on the iPad. And you're probably gonna see this particular one and that is completely fine, but your iPad is going to be working in the background. So uh, you're going to give it some time, let it, the iPad do its thing, um, you know, and uh, once the iPad is done, now let's go back to over 
notes. So click restore. Now once you once this process is complete, um, basically what it did was it took that backup and it applied it to your iPad. Now I have already done that step, so that's why it was much quicker. It might take you guys some time to do that, so which is completely fine. And once you have done that, now we're going to go back to our folder that we downloaded and locate the batch files. Remember, this was the file that we are already used, which was the backup. We already made that backup, and now we're at this one. So step six says, run the batch file located in the folder, right? So locate this folder and click on to the batch file. So now once you click, double click on this, it is going to look something like this. So it's going to do its thing and then it's going to ask you press any key to continue and then you just press any key to continue and uh, pretty much that's it and at this point your iPad is going to be doing something like this. It's going to be restarting. There you go. So now when I try to do this it's going to try to connect to the Wi-Fi. Click continue and see still it shows us locked. So now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to click, we're going to come right here and we're going to deactivate. So I'm going to check here, start deactivate and you just have to wait a few seconds. Deactivate. Now deactivation is completed. We can close that. Okay. And then we can come back here and run the batch file one more time. Press enter. So in fact, after step six, you can go ahead and deactivate. And let the iPad come back to life. Let me show you what it's exactly is doing. So it just rebooted that. And uh, there you go. Bingo, it bypassed the MDM lock. So, so the only thing we did was um, after we run the restore all data, we deactivated that and then run the uh, batch file. Now once you run the batch file, it should just bypass it. So that's the only thing we did. Um, now this is completely optional guys, you know, um, to activate that, you know, you don't really have to activate any of that, but it is completely optional, you know, in case if something is not working, you can click on uh, activate and, you know, normally you should after running the batch file, it should activate by itself. Um, so in my case it did, you know, again, eight, step eight might, you might not need it, but in case if you don't see it activated, you can go over here and click on activate and you can, there's a check mark that says, you know, skip a step so you can uncheck that and then just click activate. I didn't need to do that. Um, now just one more disclaimer. So for some of you guys, if you restart the iPad, it's possible that your MDM lock may come back. Um, so again, nothing to panic about. You don't, you don't have to redo the entire thing all over again. Um, all you need to do is just as long as you have those files downloaded on your computer, um, you know, all you have to do is just follow this last step, right? So if it comes back, uh, just deactivate and run the batch file in 3U tools. So um, you come here, just click on deactivate, right? Check this box start the de deactivation process, let it deactivate. So you're using three U tools to deactivate and then you're coming to the batch file, double click on the batch file and just let the batch file run. And that will 
bring you back you know where you were you're not going to lose any of the data you don't have to re redo the whole thing it will bring back everything the way it is you know so even if you have stored stuff in there don't worry about it it's not going to get lost so that's that's how simple it is you know it's a free bypass uh, for the mdm lock again this video is for educational purposes only hopefully this video helps you guys guys uh, again check out the link in the description below join the membership download the files and then you should be able to get this for free Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and like the video.